Hi there, Leia. So, your mama says you want to be friends now. Is that right? Yo! What will it take to get people to believe in government again? Mangy little cur. I think I know. I've passed through Mayor Sims Hall of Justice, or should I say Hall of Mirrors, and lived to tell the tale, though just barely. I saw for myself how one warped man's vision can twist the system and erode the public trust. Can make the little people feel littler still. Fellow citizens, a bullet has silenced my voice. So I'll need your help to send a loud and clear message to City Hall. Uh, so, uh, let's all stomp. No stamp! Let's stamp out injustice. Let's stamp out corruption. Let's boot out Mayor Sims! And let's get the hell out of here. Hey, that was some speech, Walter wrote. Give me a break, Hickey. As you just heard, spokeswoman Anna Hamill announces Walter has declared his candidacy for the office of mayor. However, today's small turnout has this reporter wondering, can popularity translate into votes for this much admired man? The election is less than two months away. Madonna couldn't scare up the votes to win in that time frame. I told him that since Walter has scared Councilman Wilson out of the race, this is actually good news. And Sim said... He pointed out that he's been mayor for 12 years, and I've only been deputy mayor for two. Experience is the best teacher, yada yada yada. Anyway, he's nervous about this election. Actually, he sounded angry. Quite angry. He does have a bit of a self-control problem. I think I got all the pickles. Well, some of those names he called you. I just hope your political future hasn't been endangered. Ah, uh, don't worry about me, babe. I never do. This is a losing proposition. No matter how many sappy speeches I write, nobody cares the least about candidate Walter, which may be a blessing. If people find out Bruce Corporal is backing this anti-corruption campaign, they'll laugh in my face as I'm disbarred. Hold fucking on here. I don't like these yellow noises you're making. Look, I heard you because I heard you was, uh, um... Tenacious. Tenacious. So you just stick with it, okay? Now, is the media there? This is a photo op? Watching Walter wade through crow crap just to pick up some old newspapers? At least you don't have to haul a 30-pound camera everywhere you go. I mean, don't you actually have to be somebody before returning to your humble beginnings can be considered news? Zoe, honey, news is where you find it. Please, just give me another week. Lady, maybe you could pay the rent. If you stop breathing like a cockroach. Ouch. Yo! Now where is he going? Hey, Miss Hamill, ain't that the super of this building? Ain't he the guy that ratted out Walter to the cops? Oh, no. That's that. I don't want to see you. You listening to me? What the hell are you looking at anyway? Huh? Who the... Walter, listen to me. You've got to stop. Don't you understand? They're getting the whole thing on tape. <laughs> My god, what kind of people are you? Do you know how much these cameras cost? Is that all you can think about, your camera? If I were you, I'd be a bit more worried about what's inside the camera. Miss C, Walter was just wondering, can you still use that tape? Not if he doesn't want us to. Please, you should know how much Walter values the Force State's freedom. He just wants to make sure you get the whole story. Savagely and illegally evicting a single mother and children from their home, that's when May oral candidate Walter interceded. I couldn't believe he was a politician. I mean, he's a real man who really cares. He even loaned me some money to find a new apartment. Unfortunately, police didn't share Miss Salavato's opinion of Walter's bravery. You thought that's what I wanted? In spite of that, recent polls show that Walter's standing has almost tripled. Turn on the news, Creighton! The man's a bloody hero! Of course it will be an embarrassment for you to release him now, but if you want to remain police commissioner, you'll do it! Mayor Sims, man is here to see you. I told him it was too late, that he needed an appointment, but he said a friend of yours sent him. He appears rather unsavory if you ask me. Why would I ask you, Wozner? Weren't you the genius that told me not to worry about Walter? Didn't you say I was practically a shoe in So why should I ask you? Send the unsavory man in. One more shady deal, huh, Mayor? Fine. Fine with me, babe. That's the way business gets done. But if those threats don't stop... Hey! Man, that was weird. Ah! Good lord. What the hell is going on? 
Walking. We're walking home from County Holding Center, Hickey. Are you happy? Miss Hamble, I swear I parked at least 20 feet from that hydrant. Sir Herr Walter! So, the bums finally decided to release you, huh? Jeez, things that happen in this city. Makes you wonder who the good guys really are, don't it? I... I think Walter broke something. Lady, don't look at me like that! I swear it was an accident! Hell, I'm gonna vote for the guy! <laughs> this is fucking choice! Janos, it's time for a big party! Uh, a regular... Uh, y you know... Gala. Exactly! Is it just coincidence that this accident happened the morning after Walter started gaining in the polls? I believe only the voters of the city are qualified to answer that question. Wozner, call her four-fingered unsavory friend. Tell him no more funny stuff. Bludgeon, bullet, or bomb, I want Walter D-E-A-D. Mayor, I don't think... Do it! Don't think! Just do it! Do it! Yes, sir.